So the purpose of this video is going to be to familiarize advanced diagnostics smart pro users with Toyota Tech Info and how to use it with your smart pro uh, to program keys for both the bladed and the proximity versions. So I've kind of broken this down into a couple steps here. The very first step is going to be to actually find the Toyota Tech Info site. Uh, to do that, the simplest way is to visit www.nastf.org, which opens the NASTIF homepage. When you're on the NASTIF homepage, you're going to look for OEM service websites. And it's going to load uh, websites for all the OEMs. Simply scroll down to Toyota. And there it is. Um, you do need a NASTIF login to do this. Without a NASTIF login, you will not be able to program keys to Toyota's latest system. Um, advanced diagnostics for obvious reasons cannot provide technical support with the Toyota OEM site and converting codes. So you need to kind of familiarize yourself with this because uh, they're not going to be able to help you. So you're going to select Toyota Tech Info, which is going to open the Toyota Technical Information System site. Now, if this is your first time here and you're a new user, you're going to need to uh, set up an account and buy a subscription. If you're a returning user, uh, you can select my account, which brings you to update or extend my subscription. Now, this is only for uh, people who have created a tech info account already. You go in here, you enter your email and your password and it'll load your past purchases and you simply renew uh, what you had purchased before. I found that's the easiest way uh, to renew the subscription. If you're a first time user and you need to create a new account, you can click subscribe. Uh, we're going to be doing, if you look at the very bottom, a mobilizer smart key reset and that is $65 for the two day and $1,295 for the year. And there's some just general information on here. Click continue. And this is gonna bring us to uh, pick, pick what subscription you would like to purchase, um, kind of create your account. This is where you're gonna be asked to enter your NASTIF ID uh, in the creation of your account. So first step is to select the type you're going to choose security professional. Um, you can select two day or the year. Select two day. Only need one of them. And it'll show your expiration date and the price. You want to click continue. And you're going to Enter your email address. Click continue. Now it's going to ask for your Nastif uh, locksmith ID or VSPID. Um, and then you're going to have to use the Authy app to do your passcode. I recommend that uh, you have a laptop with you on the truck. You're doing this all on the truck or in the vehicle that you're working on. Um, kind of doing this with somebody who's at a computer somewhere else is gonna be difficult. The easiest way to do this is to actually have the laptop with you in the truck. I know it's not always very simple, but, uh, but that's, in my opinion, the best way to do it. I know it's not always an option though. So after you enter your locksmith ID and stuff, um, it's gonna have you purchase a subscription. So you enter your credit card information, your address and basically create a create an account so once you've purchased it created an account you have an active subscription 
you're going to want to go back to uh, the login screen. Now, you can enter your email password after, especially if you're a new user, and um, it might not take your password or your email. That's because uh, Toyota has sent you a verification email, and they didn't notify you that they were going to send it. Check your email, and you'll have a message like this. You or someone on your behalf has requested to re-enable this email address for use with Toyota Tech Info. This can also happen if you haven't used your account in a little while. Please click the link below to authorize your account. Uh, also in that email, you will see this. Uh, please note, account may take up to 24 hours to activate. The link will expire at 96 hours after original verification request. I've never had one take 24 hours. I've had one maybe take 10 minutes. Um, so that's pretty much if you're a u new user or a uh, someone who hasn't used it in a while and you're logging in, they may need you to verify your email. Um, and if you're having trouble logging in, that's how you do that. So we are going to log in now. All right, so now we have logged into the Toyota Technical Information site after you've purchased the subscription. Uh, it's going to take you to the home page with just a bunch of general information. From here, you're going to select TIS. Then we're going to be working under Diagnostic. So after you're in TIS, you want to select Diagnostic. All right, so now that we're in TIS up here and you've selected Diagnostics, it's going to bring you to this screen uh, with, again, just a bunch of general scan tool information. You're going to want to scroll over. We're going to be working under Add Remove Key. Again, this does not create a D1. Um, we're going to enter for reset or adding keys. So uh, now we're going to have to enter some information. Um, if you look down here, data one, data two, data three, uh, the smart pro is going to spit out some information. The screen is going to look something like this. It's going to display the VIN number, uh, your data one, data two, data three. So that information is going to go down here. Um, if you're unsure of the Toyota TechStream version number, it can be simply found under tips and hints at the very top under um, any of the new Toyota systems. So if you're looking for the latest version, it's always going to be up to date right in the tips and hints on your Smart Pro. So current version is 1-5 and we're going to enter our vehicle VIN number just put anything in here for parts order number anything for customer last name and you're going to input the data that the smart pro spit out at you now it's kind of important to do this quick that's why i said you don't want to have uh, someone somewhere else doing this it's easiest with the laptop with you in the truck you're converting numbers and reading them back and forth to people um, and the car tends to go to sleep after a short amount of time, and you're going to have to redo this all over again because the codes are going to be different. So let's enter our info for data one. Info for 
get the other two. Again, it's a lot of numbers. Um, so you really want to double check and make sure you're doing everything right because uh, you just, we'll just double check that everything you're doing is correct. You're going to click submit. So now that we've entered our uh, three lines of data, it spit out a code right here that needs to be entered back into the Smart Pro. And the screen to do that on looks like this. So you enter the number that Toyota Tech Info gave you after you entered the three data lines. Enter that back into the Smart Pro. And then you'll get a screen like this, whether you're doing a duplicate or a reset. Um, this happens to be a screen from a duplicate. So you touch the, you'll get a, a success and you continue with key programming. Um, like other Toyotas. The keys for these are not reusable. And uh, again, advanced diagnostics cannot really help you with the Toyota Tech Info site. Uh, so familiarize with it, yourself with it. Thanks.